jeweled purses in general were really popular so i am going to make that tape was or like duct with the t tape was originally used to like tape air ducts okay this is like a mess or looks like a mess hi guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to so miss where i'm doing 12 days of holiday diys and sewing projects in today's video i am making a purse based on this prada jeweled purse that i feel like was really popular this year and i thought it'd be a really cute project to make for so miss a great gift that you could make for someone or to make for yourself or i don't know just to watch <laughs> but yeah i really liked it and i actually really like how this bag turned out and i tried a new method for making this bag because I've tried making structured bags before, so stay tuned to see what I did. But I hope that y'all like this video. If you do, don't forget to like and subscribe, follow me on my social medias, and let's get into it. Okay, I'm really tired, but for this So Miss video, I am making this Prada, Prada <laughs> jeweled bag. I feel like this would be a really cute gift, and it was just really popular this year, I feel like. I don't know if it was popular. I thought it was, but like jeweled purses in general were really popular. So I am going to make that as one of my So Miss videos. So I'm going to try, last time I made a bag, um, I haven't seen the Prada bag, so I don't think it's like super structured but I used cereal box cardboard, so very thin cardboard for the structuring. So this time I'm going to try duct tape because I saw this TikTok and I will link it below where this girl wanted to, she wanted her belt to like, she wanted you to see the pattern on her belt and she used duct tape and she said that like it can give like a leather like um, feel so I'm gonna try that and we're gonna see how it goes so I'm gonna get ready and draft the pattern probably using the measurements from the Prada website and then cut out the um, outside material that I'll be using and the duct tape Okay, I have all the purse pieces cut out except for the straps, so now I'm going to trace, trace them onto this fabric and then cut it out. Um, yeah.
Okay, I cut out the pieces and the fabric, so now I'm going to use the duct tape. And I'm gonna layer, at least for like the body of the bag, little sheets and cut it out from there. And then I'm gonna just do rectangles and size them down. And I'm also probably gonna do a little bit less than the size of the fabric so that I don't have to sew over it. Like, I think the sewing machine could sew over it, but since it'll also be glued down as well, I just don't really want to. Okay, I have all my little duct tape sheets cut out, so now I'm going to shape them down to be um, a little less than the size of the pattern pieces. So fun fact that I saw somewhere is that apparently duct tape was, or like duct with the T tape was originally used to like tape air ducts together, which is why it's like crazy strong. Now I will say, I do not know if duct tape is the same thing as duct tape, but I thought that was interesting. Also, do y'all remember like back in the day when we'd make like purses and wallets out of duct tape, like different colored duct tape? I don't think I have any anymore. I do have a little lizard that's made out of duct tape that I'll actually show in a second. Um, but I was also, I was just thinking about when I did this. I was like, oh my gosh, we like used to make things all the time. Okay, this is editing me here to show the lizard. I don't think I ever got around to actually showing it, but this is a little duct tape lizard. I made some of the legs, some of the legs fell off. I added wings out of like, an index card but yeah I feel like I made a lot of duct tape things like when I was younger Okay, I have all the duct tape pieces cut out, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put contact cement on both um, this side and the duct tape, and then I'm going to put them together and use something like a textbook to hold it down so it can connect. I have half of the purse um, clipped to the middle, so now I'm going to sew it together. Oh, I kind of can't really see. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Okay, for the straps, I'm going to cut two rectangles, probably about 10 inches, and sew them together. I'm not gonna do the duct tape because I have been having a little bit of problems with it. And then for the lining, I'm going to use this fabric that I got from Walmart and cut out the piece, like essentially the bag pieces and sew it together so I can connect it when I connect it all. Okay, this is like absolutely not necessary to show, but I just went into my parents' room while they were asleep to get the ironing board and the iron, so I'm going to iron out this before I cut out the lighting. 
So look at this iron. I don't know if you can tell it has settings for different types of fabric. I thought that was pretty cool. Fold the fabric in half so I could just cut this piece at once, but I have to show that Blaze has just been sitting on the fabric. She might now move, um, so I couldn't do that. Yeah, now she's gonna move. Okay, I'm sewing down this or sewing on the zipper by folding one side under some and then stitching it onto the zipper. And also, I started at the end um, just so it could be uniform. Okay, this is like a mess, or looks like a mess, but I have half of the bag pinned and I have the zipper, the gusset facing down, and I also have the strap inside, but like sandwiched, so I'll stitch over it. So I'm going to stitch it closed. And once I get to like the last side, I will unzip the zipper so I can flip it inside out afterwards. Okay, these are the jewels that I'm going to use, and I started sorting them, but as you can tell, there's like, a lot of different types so instead of trying to make it uniform kind of like how i did with the pearl purse um i think i'm just kind of gonna do it like collage style and just glue them on and make it all fit okay for the bag i did the first side and my sister has done this much so far so pretty much all i'm doing is i'm taking e6000 glue i take out like a little handful of beads and i just place them ran randomly i try to make sure that there's like a semi even distribution of the big ones but other than that i'm kind of just like placing them on okay i didn't jewel the entire bag because one it takes a lot of time and so miss is supposed to be done tomorrow um and also it kind of looks good as is i'm not gonna show it right now i'm gonna wait a few minutes but um i didn't do the center part and i feel like if i had done the center part it would kind of look odd with the handle which i kind of felt the whole time which is why originally i wanted beads the same color of the fabric and yeah so i i actually kind of like how it looks i think it looks good so i will get ready and show y'all that
Thanks for watching. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on my social medias. I didn't end up dueling the whole bag as I originally planned to, but I think that it turned out really good because the sides like match the handle and I think it just looks a little more cohesive. I also, I had a few problems with using the duct tape for a stabilizer, but I think it has a lot of potential. So I definitely, definitely will have some projects coming up in the new year using it. But yeah, I hope y'all liked it and stay tuned for the last Soma's video. Bye guys.